Hi, I'm Alex, and today we'll be talking about how you can load permissions into your application, specifically using App Initializer, using Guard, or in main component. To understand the difference between the strategy, we divide the application lifecycle with two milestones. The application is bootstrapped, and the Guard checks user access. If we are talking about App Initializer, first you will load permissions, then the application will be bootstrapped, and then the guard will check user access. If we are talking about guard, first the application will be bootstrapped, then you will load permissions, and then the guard will check user access. If we are talking about component, first application will be bootstrapped, then the guard will check user access, and then permissions will be loaded. If you want to use Nginx permission guard or your custom guard, you need to preload data. To preload data, you use App Initializer or Guard. You cannot use Component because there will be no data. So let's jump into the code. So first, I need to create application on which I can show you the difference between different strategies. Uh, the application will be very simple. It will have only two components, Home and About. It will have a small routing system, and it will have a service that actually makes a call. Uh, so, as always, this is basic uh, Angular uh, project that was generated with Angular CLI. The only difference is that I will uh, run it on 5000 port. And also that I've already installed the library. So, let's jump with generating. So, first we will generate two components. About component. And the second one we will generate a home component. So first we need component, home component. After this, uh, we will import everything that we need. We need HTTP client module because we will actually make call and uh, we need Nginx permissions module because obviously <laughs> we need it. And we need a routing system. So let's create routing. We need to generate module, we'll call it FFR routing. And I don't like it here, I want it to be in the root of the application. And in FFR routing module, we will say that it imports router module with for root, and we will pass roots. And here we'll define roots with the type of roots. So we need a uh, basic root that ha will have two children. The um, about page with a component about component. And we will need home with a component home component. So we don't need declaration, we need also export this router module. And now we will import it in app module. So here, and uh, also we will need to specify that we can actually use it, routing, so with directive router outlet. Also we don't need this one and with the resources we will just move it to the let's say to the home component home component and in about we will just make it a little bit beautiful we'll say that this is five dash one and we'll say so it this is about component so Let's check what we have. So here we are on 5000 and we are on the home component and it's okay. And now we will go to about. So yeah, this works. And the last uh, thing that we need is to create a service that will make calls. So we will call it load permission service. And in load permission service, 
Hello, we will have HTTP to make a call. So we need HTTP client. We will say public load permissions method that will return this get. We are making a call. And here I will just take this JSON placeholder. We just need that it's successful. So here we'll pass this JSON placeholder, placeholder and I will make it a promise because we don't need actually here observable, but if you want, you can use observable. And uh, I will return developer permission. Okay, and here will be developer. Uh, also, I will create some methods. It's a delay uh, to simulate like uh, when the service is not returning very fast, but when, for example, it will take in uh, three seconds. So what we will do, we will return new promise that will resolve in um, three seconds. And here, just, just a stop, we will say return with delay And we will turn this one. And I will comment it because we will need it just later. And what else we need? We need uh, to protect boots so to see the difference. So in a whole we'll say that everything this will be available only to the user who has developer permission. And I will copy everything, this one, here, here. And routing, we will say that about you can only view if you have, can activate if you have this developer permission. So can activate NGX permissions got. And here we need to pass data that will actually be permissions that will be only and here we probably say developer so this about will be only activated if the user has developer so here in home we don't see everything and we should not be able to go to about page and we cannot go to the about page so now we need to load them so let's start So uh, let's load permissions with app initializer. The first thing that you do, you navigate to module TS and in providers, you will provide this app initializer. So here we will pass object, provide app initializer. It's here we need to pass factory that will return a promise. So here we'll say use factory load permission yeah, we'll just say permissions factory. Permissions factory. We need two dependencies that we will pass into permissions factory. It will be load permissions service, this load permission service, and nginx permission service. And we will need to say that it's multi true. So uh, let's implement this permissions factory so it will be export function permissions factory and in permissions factory it will take this uh, uh, load permissions service that load permission service and the second will be nginx permission service and we need to return boolean so we will return uh, we'll promise me. So here we will say this return this load permission service without this load permission service load permissions and then uh, nginx permission service load permissions and here we will pass data from here to here and uh, return to list just in case. So let's check. So as you can see now, the application has permissions. So we can see 
home and you can go to the about page everything works um, let's come back and i want to show you how it will behave if uh, the uh, request is actually wrong so we come here in log permissions and we uncomment this delay method and we comment this and that's here and this is what user actually application is bootstrapping so it waits three seconds because before bootstrap and if we go to home you will see the same three seconds the like improvements that we can do is actually uh, go into index html and here just to say to the user that it's loading api is loading So now at least he sees that it's loading. So it takes three seconds to do it. So this is the first one. So the second approach is using guard. First, we need to generate guard. We go to Angular Schematics, and here we will find guard. And we will call it auth guard. Okay. It generated. And now we navigate to auth guard. And in auth guard, we need to have a constructor because we will make a call so here we will have load permissions service and we will need nginx permission service nginx permissions service nginx permission service and in connectivate we will return this load permission service we are loading permissions and in then we will pass data we will say this nginx permission service load permissions data and we need to return true so it will work after that we navigate to app protein module ts and here this root pass we will say that you can activate only with ghost guard let's see the application so as you can see like home page we have permissions and if we navigate to about page we also see the permissions so everything works now let's simulate long request so we navigate to host guard and here we'll go to load permissions and let's simulate that it's three second request what the user will see as you can see so the difference is the application is bootstrapped and in three seconds the component is activated and we go to the home component it will be the same like the user will see at least something and then he will see all other information now uh, let's see the last approach just loading so i will reset everything And the last approach is to load permissions in your app component ts so we navigate to app component ts and here we will need on init and we will need constructor so in constructor we will just pass uh, to services this is load permissions service load permission service and nginx permission service And in ngn init, we will say that this load permission service, we just load, we will load it into the nginx permission service. Okay, here, load permissions, here is the data, here is the data. So this is the most simplest one, but now uh, if you navigate to the application, and if we navigate to the home, like you will see, uh, it will load. Well, the problem with about page you cannot navigate to about page because the guard runs before the permissions is loaded let's just show you and if we simulate with delay this is how it will be looked so this is user when he navigates to the home he will see like with a guard and then in three seconds he will see the data but again he cannot navigate to about page 
because it run before and that's it thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please like and subscribe and i also want to say big thank you to these people for supporting me thank you very much and if you have a chance to support me please support me on patreon have a great day